Hi, this is Tapcat. Welcome back to Battle Brothers. I can't believe it's already day 14. In a weird way, I'm actually a little unhappy about that because I I don't want to get to day 100 too fast. Um, like I know what the challenge level will be. And, uh, you know, we need to be ready for that. So I'm worried we're not getting in enough fights per day, so to speak. That said, uh, we are kind of stuck right now. There's a quest in uh, this town I really want, Koppingen, or however you pronounce that. But the problem I have is we're really beat up. Uh, like this guy only has 18 and a 61 health. Uh, this guy is actually almost healed, so I'm not really worried about him, Gerald the Rock. Uh, Corey, also almost healed, except for cut leg muscles. I'm not worried so much about the lost initiative, but the melee defense penalty is really severe. And then, you know, here's another one. He's way down in health. I'm keeping him out of melee for the most part, but all it'll take is one shot from a bow and he's dead. So, you know, to go into a battle with two guys like that, I just don't see it. So we have a couple of choices. I could just camp and then we would be out of luck for a while. Like, you know, we'll just burn through money and provisions. What I'm thinking is maybe we come to Kaltenhof We'll do some healing just on the way there. And we'll check and see if they have any quests as well. And once we take care of whatever we do here, recruiting, buying, you know, quests, we'll come back and it'll probably be, um, you know, hopefully by then we'll be healed enough. I don't mind taking this quest. The other reason I don't mind doing that is I do want to come to Kaltenhof. It's a city we haven't been to yet. But my next stop after that would be to go north ultimately i i did a little looking on the map and i saw they have a hunter's cabin here so i'm hoping that tonder hovel will have um hunters we can recruit i'd really like to add another archer and hunters are by far my favorite you know uh, background to recruit for that so um my point is, if we come here and come back, it's not really that much of wasted effort or, or you know, time spent on the road for the simple fact that um, if I go to Kaltenhof after I finish the quest, I'm still coming back to this road so that I can go north. So this little bit of extra space, like, that's not really the end of the world. And it's certainly no more of a waste than me just camping for like the next two days. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and head out. I apologize if that was a bit of a long-winded explanation, but I just hope we don't get kind of ambushed on the road here. I really don't need trouble. I, I, my heart jumped a little bit when I saw that, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so there is a two skull quest. It looks like he had something stolen yes okay similar type of quest very similar type of quest may i ask how much healing we did not enough all right first question is there anybody worth um recruiting here usually these retired guys they're not great because their fatigue sucks now he got a max roll so his is better than most his melee skill is good Defense is solid. His resolve is really good. His health. Oh, dead health. Wowza. We, we could put him on the back line. Uh, what am I talking about? I don't have 2,800 gold. Never mind. Honestly, though, I would have considered him if he was cheaper. But he wasn't. Um. Yeah, his melee just sucks. So, never mind. Um... Wow, that's interesting. Survivor has a 90% chance to survive if struck down and not killed by a fatality. I mean, he'll never hit anybody, but you'll never get him killed. All right, and the rest of these guys are just too expensive, so it doesn't matter if they're any good or not. 
Can I afford anything? Well, I'm going to buy some tools because we're getting really low. God, I hate to do this, but I'm going to buy two stacks. I mean, I don't hate to do it in some ways. It's just that, you know, we're kind of broke. It's funny how you can look like you have a decent amount and then you buy some necessities and all of a sudden you're like, oh, never mind. <laughs> I am, in fact, poor. As soon as we can, I want to try to get these. But not yet. Same thing. I'm sure there won't be anything in here I can afford because I only have 600 gold. Yeah. Well, that's fine. Let's not worry about it. All right. I tried to avoid it. We're just going to have to camp. I mean, I don't know what to say. I can't take any of these quests while we're this beat up. You know what I can do, though? We're going to have a an episode here where we spend a little time. At least camping did help him heal up a little bit. I want to reevaluate really quickly um, who goes where in here. So, for example, I should have the guys with my best aim holding these, you know, these weapons that I only get to attack once with per turn. So let's do this. Um, he has 56 and 65. So this guy sucks. His, his aim is garbage. So he's on the front lines or he's out. That's kind of how I look at it. Um, 63 is good. 52 is crap. 62. Um, hold on. Yeah, he's 65. So he may keep it. Okay. 65 is in fact my best aim of anybody. So I think it makes a lot of sense to have him where he's at. And I think we have multiple guys that are at 63. So here's here's the next question. Of my 63s, let's do this. Um, oh, wrong guy. Okay, I only have two. Who has the best melee defense? His is 23. Jeez Louise. All right. So you stay on the front line, you go on the back. Um, having done that, let's strip him naked. And, um, hmm. How did I, um, oh, he was, got it, got it, got it. All right. So here's your new kind of garbagey stuff. Oh, okay. He does have that. And then I hate it when I lose track um, of what I was doing. Was he? Oh my God. I've lost track. No, no, it was him. What am I talking about? No, it wasn't him. Did I strip the wrong guy? All right, I've completely lost the thread of what I was doing. He was the one who was on the back line. All right, sorry. Here's the thing, though. I kind of want to, I kind of want to just do this for everybody. I want to just rethink what I'm doing. All right, the shield, I think it makes sense to just leave because we're all going to have shields. And... I also want daggers on all of these guys. So if I'm missing daggers on my frontliners, daggers slash knives. Okay. One of the, the reasons I was doing this, by the way, I'm thinking that we're going to try and have some kind of rationale for who gets what gear and why and like where I place them on the line in particular. So I was thinking about this and I kind of want the guys that have the best melee defense to be on the corner. And um, I think I had put like who had the highest health or something. I can't remember. At any rate, um, who has the highest melee? 22, 16, 
23, 25, 20. Okay. So 25, that's definitely uh, one. And then I don't, I think I had one that was 23, right? Yep. So let's do that. Okay. All right. Fair enough. So these are kind of our, you know, anchors, if you will. So I want to give him the best armor I have. So he has the highest defense and the best armor. And I'm going to give him the best helm I have too. We'll give this guy the next best. And I'm going to worry about weapons in a minute. But so we got our corners secured by, you know, the toughest guys I have. If you can, you know, use that term for these dudes. I thought I had more of these 70s. I guess I don't. Okay, that's fine. So what's my next best? 55? Ugh. That's not amazing. Not going to lie. All right. And then, I mean, these guys just kind of are what they are, I guess. Um, let's pull this off of him. And they're just going to get... Yep, all I have is 50. This is better, isn't it? All right. Okay, so I've given the best armor I have to my frontliners, and I've, you know, tried to do it in some kind of coherent way. Now, not everybody has a knife still. So let me do this. Now, is that everybody on the front line? Yes. And I'm missing three on the back line. So weird. I could have swore at one point I had everybody. So I'm just spacing, I guess. Uh, okay. So a falchion is better than a short sword. So if someone's going to wield a sword, I think it makes sense, you know, to, uh, to use that before I use a short sword. Then let's have a weapon that I can kind of club somebody upside the head with. The flail does decent damage. What do these do? 20 to 35 as opposed to 20 to 45. And I at least have the option. Now, his aim sucks. So actually, let's just give him a spear instead. Okay. Um, I mean, I would have liked something to bonk the guy with, but what am I going to do? So, all right, you know what? I take it back. Since he's the only one who has a decent aim over here, we'll give him the flail. And I'll give this guy the sword, I guess. And over here, what's his aim? 63. All right, so, yeah, okay. We have we have a couple of guys who can actually hit something. I'll go ahead and do that. And then maybe give him the axe. And, um... What do I want? Um... It, it, these just do such bad damage. That really, you know, has a way of putting me off, you might say. All right. Obviously, we want to get him some clothes. I don't think it's ideal to have him running around naked as a jaybird. Okay. I don't have a knife to give him, so he's going to have to make do. All right. Well, that was a long time. I know. But... I don't know what to say. I think it's good to do that periodically. And, um, you know, if you have any particular thoughts about a better way to do that, I'm certainly open. All right. How are we doing? I don't want to do this for too long. So his wound is completely healed. He is also healed other than he still has these injuries, which are basically just affecting his initiative. I am prepared to live with that. He is he is a problem with his melee defense, but now that I've put him on the back line, not as big a deal. So I probably actually waited oops, 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 longer than I needed to. Let's get in here. Let's take the quest. And let's go. The problem is I don't know of a way that we can um like heal up or or see how I'm doing 
without pausing the game. Okay, I'm going to stay on the edge of the forest, but doggone these idiots, because now it looks like night's about to fall, and I don't want to fight them at night. My archers will be useless. <sighs> okay, let me do this. A few brigand poachers and some brigand raiders. Good. So if I interpret that correctly, that's two archers and four raiders. Well, I am not doing that fight at night. I want my archers to have some effect. So I'm going to play kind of a cat and mouse where I follow them, but I don't follow too closely. And now that we're getting towards daylight, I just hope I can get them out of the forest. Is it, being in the forest is kind of annoying. Oh, come on, really? Okay, at least it's only them. I don't want to fight those other guys and I definitely don't want to fight everybody at the same time. Okay, well, this is interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Let me see, if I stand where I am, I don't have a great chance to hit. What about this guy? Oh, I can't hit him anyway. If I step up, I can no longer use, um, yeah, I won't even be able to hit him, I don't think. Do I wanna pull back? Is there any, see, if I pull back here, I would have at least some high ground that they can't, Take, you know, like I'll have a high ground advantage. Over here that won't be true, but here it would be if I occupy these three slots. I kind of like that is the thing. Um, I think I'm going to do it. I mean, we kind of need whatever advantages we can get. That's what I'm thinking. All right, let's do it. What's the worst thing that could possibly happen? Don't answer that. Okay, that was definitely not too bad. Oh God, one of these stupid ax throwers. I kind of get nightmares over the guys like that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I think what I should try to do, if I can, is really try to prioritize killing... Um, hang on just a second. Two. Yeah. One, two. Key. Okay. I'll come here. Uh, what does it say? Killing guys like this. I feel like they're more dangerous in a way. I'm not I'm not positive that's true, but it feels true. Okay. I had a little anxiety about whether everybody would be able to um, make it, you know? Would they have enough? Yeah, he didn't. But I think that's okay. I think next turn I can just hop up here. So, they're not close enough for me to hit. We'll just wait. That's all. Just wait. Now. 25%. That's a bit crap. 31's a bit better. I can jump that to 51. So I can either take one 51 percenter. I think that's what I'm going to do. Man, these guys have three. So, like, almost their whole group is ranged. I did not notice that before. So, they won't even move up. They won't. Crap. I'm going to have to go to them. They'll just chew me up. That's 
really annoying. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't see any way out of it. I don't. They will hang back and they will just beat the hell out of me. So, yeah. I'm, let me put it this way. I'm glad I noticed it now and not later. If they were holding these weapons the whole time, then obviously it would have been even better had I noticed that some time ago. Now, I have to be careful here. See, like if I come here... Did not mean to do that. All right. Um, I'm going to step back because what I was going to say is if there, if somebody moves onto that spot, like I am really in a world of hurt. All right. I'll come here. Yeah, I, I definitely feel like um, I got outplayed a little bit on this one, you know, like the AI was smarter than me. <laughs> Okay. This is just not a shot worth taking. We're just going to move up. Try to position ourselves better. And, um, you know, I'm hoping next turn we can do some good work. And that I don't get too beat up in the meantime. Like, his whole armor just got wrecked. And they're doing shield wall. Which is not terrible for me. Okay, let's do this for sure. Nice. Very good. And that injured shoulder has got to mess with his uh, his accuracy. I only have a 32% chance. So here's the thing. As much as I love Lash, I'm not going to use 25 fatigue for that shot. Um, this one only uses 13 so it's either this or I shield wall like he did. Um, but I, I have to go for at least one attack. Here. There we go. Yeah, I have a better chance with this too. It's almost a coin flip. So anyway, let's go boys. All right, that was not super impressive. What can you do? 29%, 16%. I think we found our victim. All right, very good. Wow, that was nice. See, I hate wrecking this armor. This is one thing that just makes me so sad. So here's what we'll try to do. This guy has the same stuff and his looks like it might be decent too. Um, I mean, I, I can't just leave everybody alive. The only way I can break morale on anybody is, you know, to start killing people on their side, so. Alright, I'm kind of in a fix. Like, I can't get to high ground. Um, ugh. I'm going to try waiting here for a turn. 35%. You know, I might be able to just bust this and get rid of his stupid shield. Yeah. I feel like when you can bust it in one turn, that's not a bad deal. It didn't pay off for me, because even though I had a way better chance to hit, at the end of the day, I didn't hit. Now his armor is not that good, so you know it doesn't fuss me to <laughs> to wreck it. Okay, okay. And I did, by the way. I wrecked it good. <laughs> I'm so grateful he missed. Okay. Um, this isn't going to work out necessarily the way that guy expected. And I still want to try and keep his, his stuff in decent shape. Um, I have a lot of obstructed shots here. I, of course, he's like my best shot. But I'm going to do this. Doggone it. And um, I think what I'm going to have to do is move away. Because I want to keep my distance from him. I'm hoping to get something in here in a second. Okay, let's do this for sure. Come on. Uh. 
There you go. There you go. And he's already wavering. That's right. Hurts, don't it? <laughs> How about you, boy? Oh, that was a nasty one. He's breaking. <laughs> oh, he's fleeing now. And he's on death's door. But you know what's better than death's door? That's right. Actual death. So I'm going to come here. And now this guy is done shooting. No, that's not good. This is what I want. And then I come here. So this guy, you know, no, I'm not going to meet you over there. I'm going to come and we're going to start trying to break their morale. That was kind of my point there. Now, I don't want to give this guy a, um, you know, height advantage on me. So instead, I'm going to come here, surround this guy with another brother. Wow, I didn't get much of a bonus out of that. His shield wall is pretty good, huh? But you know what? Not good enough. I'm very reluctant to move forward with him, particularly when his armor is gone. And I particularly don't want to put him in a situation. How about I come here? He'll help protect the archer, and now he'll have high ground. And I'm going to come here. Now, this is See, this is the guy whose armor I would like to get. I think I'm going to hold up here. Now, this guy, unfortunately, is steady. So, I'm not positive I'm going to have, like, a ton of choice here. I think I'm going to be stuck killing him. You know what? Can you chill for a minute? So here's what I'm thinking. Um, oh, I, I actually did not mean to take that shot. I'm not super upset that I took it, but it wasn't necessarily what I intended. Um, I think I'm going to come here. And then I need to make some choices. So I can move here and lock that guy down. Um... He's already moved. I don't want to come here, really. But I think I don't have a lot of choices. Like, I'm going to have to start trying to break this guy. Yikes. That is just risky as hell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shield wall to at least try and... Okay, it worked. That's good. That's good. Now somebody needs to go and... Okay, that's not where I want to be. I need to not let this guy feast on him. Okay, this is kind of a big one. Here. I actually don't need to lash because he has no armor at all. Oh, come on, dude. Okay, that's what I was hoping for, because that helped break his morale. So now when I come here, yeah, baby. The only bad part of that, can I go for a kill? I didn't quite get him. Okay. Oh, I can't reach him. Can if I do this, but my odds really suck. Let's try it. Nope, not good enough. I feel like I want to move away with him. Um, I guess I can only come one spot. No, no, that's not right. What am I missing here? Why can't I move? Okay, that was like the worst possible thing. I'm kind of misclicking here is the problem. I'm not going to be able to attack, unfortunately. 
And that's what I really need to do. Oh my god. Do I move up with him? Because that's like the worst. But I can push him back if nothing else. Yeah, I need to have some guys ready to just go to work on this guy. Oh, he's running. He's steady, but he's pulling back. That's interesting. Eh, that's actually really interesting to me. Okay, if I can pin this guy in, then we have another set of armor. And I would be more than happy to take it. Okay. Perfect. Done. So, I'm not really worried about the other guy. We're never going to catch him. If they give me the message saying, you know, he's running, I'm going to just let it go. We're not going to catch him. That's the problem. I would love to get his armor, but it's not, it's not going to go. So it's 90. You know, I would have rather got the 110, but hey. I consider that a win. Uh, I'm how much are they offering me? Nah, I would love to have it, but I can't do that. Okay, they're moving away, which I am grateful for. I saw we have some promotions, which is awesome. So let's see what we got. Uh, honk, honke, hanky. <laughs> I don't know. Um, we're just gonna do the thing where we make them better at melee and have a little more fatigue and then for perks I'm going to just jam student and here for Ragnar you know the best thing is we did not get really beat up in that fight this is a nice little bump to his uh, ranged attack a really nice bump to his ranged defense and um this is not a great roll here, but I, I'm not so enamored with any of the rest of these that, you know, I'm going to sneer at it. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to take anticipation here, get a little better range defense. Let's see. Um, yeah, I get it's situational. I was looking, I was going to see how much it moved, but reading what it does, it reminded me that it varies what depending on the guy you're facing and where he is on the map and all that. So as for Corey, let's just make his aim even better. And I will I'll grab the fatigue. I'll be honest. I was a little tempted to grab the health because 55 is a little low. So at some point, I'm either going to have to take Colossus or I'm going to have to use, you know, a level or two to get him up a notch. And then there's a couple of ways we could go here. I could take um, Rotation or Brawny to help his fatigue. In the short run, I'm probably less worried about his fatigue than I am the guy who attacks, guys who attack twice a turn. So I'm actually thinking that I'm going to go ahead and take rotation. The more guys I have with that, you know, like I don't want him, uh, if an enemy gets up on him, to be stuck. So it's really nice to have that. And by the same token, like sometimes if an archer, you know, gets stuck there and he's almost dead, you can still rotate him in because he has fresh armor and, you know, all of his health and so forth. All right, Wilfried, what can you do? Ooh, nice, 68. Get you. <laughs> this is a slow, slow climb on that, but hey. And uh, yeah, we'll grab some more fatigue. And I think again, I am tempted to go for Brawny. Actually, I'm being a hypocrite if I do. But I like mixing it up a little bit, at least. All right. And I know a lot of my uh, abilities have been very consistent. Don't think I really want to fool with those guys. We, 
we kind of had a nice break there by not getting beat to hell. And I don't really want to flush that, you know? I'd kind of like to keep it that way. So we'll go back, we'll get paid. And then we're probably going to head out to, um, I wonder what that was. Uh, I could follow. Let's see if we can, is it more brigands? I mean, I don't want to like go completely nuts with this. Well, whoever they were, their tracks disappeared. So what I managed to do is cost myself the night in town. But you know what? There was nothing I was that desperate to get here. So maybe what I do instead of um, fooling with that, I could buy more tools, maybe some medicine. But night just fell, so I gotta, I gotta be honest. I think I'm gonna hit the open road. <laughs> it's already dawn. <laughs> Whatever. We're going. We're on our way. Oh, brother, more brigands. Okay. Um. I don't really want to fight in the forest. Oh man, don't go too far, please. All right, sweet. All right, so what do we got? Um, one raider, one thug, two, three. Okay, four raiders, three thugs. Um, I mean, you know, there's worse odds. Let's just wait for him. I'm pretty good just taking this shot, I think. He's definitely a guy we want to kill. He doesn't have good armor, and he's going to be dangerous, so. Okay. See, this guy I would like to, um, to strip. He has good gear. And this guy has a good helmet. Um, this guy's helmet's good for us, too. All right. Well, it's always awkward because, you know, while you're trying to play it cute, they're just beating the holy hell out of you. So I think for the most part, we're going to be preserving our fatigue. Now, I could move up with one or two of these guys. Like, what if I came here? Try to make sure they don't come around. I definitely don't want them coming up on my flank like that. I think I'm good with this. All right. I would have been, you know, a lot better with it had we hit... That would have been really nice. I am... Hmm. I'm tempted to do something like come here. Eh, I'm not going to. We'll see what they do in a minute here. Oh, I definitely want to keep the high ground, so... Okay. I mean, this feels like kind of a no-brainer. Does he get a buckler? It looks like it. What if I wreck it? I didn't wreck it. That's rather unfortunate, if I may say it. So, I don't really have a lot of good shots. Uh, my best shot, of course, is the guy whose armor I want. So, I'm, I'm not going to do that. But I think what I'll do is I'll just go for one of the thugs. And, you know, we hit the raider. It's fine. He has crap gear anyway. Uh, probably don't want to move forward here. I, I think I already passed with him. If, maybe if I'd have moved him here, that would be a much better play. But I'm going to stay. Well, I'm going to wait. Okay, and I'm going to wait. Now, I definitely want to move forward. And I want to go for Lash. Beautiful. God, that was beautiful. All those beautiful wavering flags coming up. You love to see it. <laughs> and what if I come here? It's kind of a bad spot for him. But it walls 
these two guys off, you know, pretty decently, especially this guy. Also gives me a chance to kind of surround this fool. Okay, so there's a couple of ways I could go here, but honestly, I'm kind of thinking, what if I just go knife now and start daggering this guy? Because I'm not just going to sit here and shield wall the whole time. Like, let's start trying to kill him. I don't like how much damage I just took there. Now, I don't... I don't want to give this guy too much room, but how about if I come here? Yeah. The quicker we can bring him down, the better. And then maybe I move the pitchfork guy over to support him and we'll fight this guy. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm going to have to. I hope I'm not making a terrible mistake here. And I might be. I'm, I'm the first to say it's very, very possible. All right, let's go. Archers, you're not helping sometimes, you know? Okay, that was good. That was really good. That's progress, you see? It can be done. It can. <laughs> All right, can I hit him? Decent, but no. So part of me is tempted to shield wall, but I got to tell you, I think the best defense is killing their raiders. I mean, um, and that also helps wreck their morale, you know. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm tempted to do this, but that gets my fatigue up to 55, and then I'll start next turn with 40, which is not great. I mean, this only takes four. Oh, no, 13 fatigue. So, eh, you know, why don't I do this? It's only two more fatigue. Can I just get... There we go. The shield is gone. Okay. I believe I can hit this guy. Beautiful. The bad thing is I can't move him over... Okay, so let's bring him down here. I can't attack this turn, but I'll try to support the other guys next turn. Even have rotation. That's so cool. Beautiful. He missed his shots against... Uh, I'm going to call him Hank. Okay. All right. If you would be so kind. Very good. Really impressive performance. <laughs> okay. I think I lost a little more armor. Oh, God. Um... All right, I need to be careful here because I don't want to hurt my own guys. I'm trying to keep this guy's armor intact, but I may not. I'm just going to shoot at the thug and like I hit what I hit. We are not, I don't understand how I can have this guy surrounded by three guys and I only have a 43% chance to hit. Like what's my chance with this? Okay, so you have a big penalty. That's the problem with this attack. All right. At least I did that. But I'm going to lose this guy. The thing is, I'm not screwing around down here. I mean, I actually am trying to, um, you know, <laughs> break these guys and kill them and all that. Like, okay. And... Come on, you've got the height advantage, so let's let's do it. Beautiful, finally. So now if you can just finish him, or at least hurt him, you know, like do something. So I think I don't have a choice. I have to shield wall here, and my stamina is just too low. I'm not going to risk doing more. Um, hmm. I guess I don't have a choice. Do I do I go for the dagger here? 
I fear I'm going to lose him. The problem is these are the two guys that I really want to kill quickly, but he can't get to them. I can't move. Can't move away from this guy. Um, You know what I might be able to do on his turn? Oh, I didn't think of it. I already took his turn. I'll have to do it next time if he's still alive. He could use that bump and push this guy down here. I would be more than happy to do that. It's just, you know, right now, um, I can't do that. So, I don't know, man. I'm, I think I'm going to have to worry about keeping my guys alive. I'm just going to have to try to kill him as fast as I can. And unfortunately, that means wrecking his armor. All right, that was a good, solid bit of progress we just made on him. Um... Oh, man. I'm not going to kill him no matter what I do. But I could sure... Like, I have the best chance to hit him. By far. But I, I'm going to do this. Yeah, because I just was like, man, it's so close to just being a kill. Maybe what I do, since he has armor, but he has a shield. Mm, I'm going to do this. Hold on. I don't dare use his uh, knockback because going here is really bad on multiple levels. But I will try and do more damage. Perfect. Now I don't have to worry about anyone except this guy and he's breaking. Oh, come on. All right. Good, good. So, I don't think I can shoot safely at these guys. I risk hitting my own man. Oh, no. I can shoot him. All right. Wait. What just happened? I saw a bunch. Hold on. Um, oh, I think one of my guys hit Bertolf and since he uh, failed his like um, resolve test that made everybody else's morale shaky all right fair enough all right is he fleeing yet no he's only breaking all right you're staying out of it you're way too beat up All right, so we got two men left up. Um, I'll go ahead and come here because this guy's fleeing already. So this is the main... Oh, he can't do anything. I remember I had him wait to see if I could use um, rotation. And I'm going to. Yeah, I, he's the one who broke. That makes sense now. I, I didn't even realize where the one who broke was on the map, you know? I just saw that one of our guys broke. But I can certainly excuse him if I can excuse anybody because, holy cow, did he get the crap beat out of him. All right, well, I did get another patched mail shirt. So, I mean, we didn't lose anybody. I call that a win, even though we're very beat up again, which is not ideal, obviously. We did get some level ups, though. Well, we got a level up. Landrich Log Lock no Long Nose. <laughs> All right, not a great roll. Oh, yeah, that's really not a great roll. Okay, well, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to put a few points into health here. Yeah, this guy, unfortunately, he's a short-termer. His resolve is so bad. His health is so bad. Um, but that's all right. You know, he'll do for now. So I'm not going to waste student on him because we won't keep him to level 11, you know, no, no matter what. Um, let's use Colossus here so that his health doesn't suck as bad. 
you know, it's actually semi-decent now. And um, I wanted to come down here to get that quest. So let's do that. Uh, I am going to go ahead and stop. I think we won't do another quest right now. And I may have to rest again. We're, I assume we're pretty beat up. He's down a fair bit of health. Not to, yeah, this one is really bad. Yeah, I could always rest him. I mean, that's not the end of the world. We could try to just do a fight with one less guy. I think that's okay. Because he's really the only one, you know, that you're like, oh man. <laughs> that's a bad idea, bro. I would like another stack of tools. Um, actually, what we really need is food. So let's go ahead and grab some green. I am going to encamp for just a little bit, I think. Oh, what's this now? Well, on the path. Man, oh, so somebody hung him upside down from a tree for fornicating with another man's wife. Um, let's talk to him. Oh, another man's horse? Um, sure. I don't know about that one. I'm going to see if he's any good. Um, okay, his health's 55. Let me see. Survivor. Oh, brother, that's that ability we saw earlier. Fearless plus 10 resolve. I mean, you know, uh, is that 38 after the plus 10? Oh, I guess 38. That's not completely terrible. Uh, all right. His aim is okay. His defense is okay. His fatigue is actually better than okay. Well, all right. You know what? We've, we can use him. Oh, crap. I should have, um, I should have equipped this already. Uh, let me put him here and let's see. I mean, I want this on somebody who's actually good. Okay, so my two best guys in terms of aim already have the good armor. I'll give this to him. And then we'll put this guy here. And um, that's fine. I'll give him one of these. And this is cool. We actually have some more of these now. Oh, I have another one, too. Oh, my God. I'm an idiot. Uh, okay. Who's my next best? I mean, I'm just going to kind of go through here. 52, 56. So you get one. And then as far as the headgear goes, let's give him that. Wait a minute. Doesn't one of these guys have? Yes, they do. Okay. All right. So he's got a 110. And then you can have one of these. And you can have that. And then I'm fine giving you one of those, I guess. Yeah, cool. All right, well, we, uh, oh, wait, one. Well, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do him. We upgraded our gear and we have one of these too. So that's another upgrade. In fact, that's slightly better than this. And then I'll give, um, give one of these guys. Yeah. All right. And this is a very slight upgrade over that, but listen, it's all progress. That's how I look at it. So we're going to miss his uh, aim up here, frankly. Because this guy is pretty good for first level, but that doesn't mean he's actually good. So that's kind of a bummer, but he needs a helmet. 
that's fine. I got, well, hold on. Let's give him one of these and I'll give him that. New guy, you have to earn your good helmet. That's kind of how things work. So, um, yeah, I think we just grab that quest and we'll do it when we come back. So I guess I'll just wait until we come back. But, you know, yeah, we're going to drive off brigands. Oh, this one's not a track them. There's an actual fortress. That's right. So that's what we'll do when we come back. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. I hope we see you next time.